Alright, so as you are one, my name is Ace, welcome back here to another special video on some more information about My Academia Ultra Impact. So, some more translations dropped, you know, and since I don't have access to the game, I'm just gonna be trying to give you the most information out of it. And of course, because I want you guys to keep, uh, to keep you guys in contact with the game, what's going on and stuff. But since I don't have any gameplays, I mentioned it in the other videos, you can go check out Hydro's channel. Down in the description below, it's linked there. Definitely go and check it out. I want you guys to see the game, how it actually looks, and if you like it or not. And because we're in closed beta right now, not many people have access to it. So yeah. Also, huge shout out to the Discord server. I'll be sure to link in the description, like always. We should check it out. Join, support these guys because uh, these mods are the ones that are giving us translation stuff. Without them, probably would have made this video. So yeah. Let's hop in. Today we're talking about some more updates and stuff. Not really an update, but more translations and how different systems of the game work. And this is about the gacha details. So, the gacha system itself. The gacha details menu. I will start by gacha info, rate ups, and summaries. So, there's basically it's, there's three pages. First page is gacha info, talking about the banner that is up right now, um, what it uh, has, like main units, but it doesn't really show them all. Maybe like feature units and stuff at rates. No, rates are sorry, rates are on the third page. Then we got rate up, which will show one, two, or the three rate up units, even more, who knows? Well, probably th I think three is the max. Uh, yeah, I will show the rate up units, what they do, and how good they are. So, yeah, um, by showing these rate up units, you know, here we have a picture of Teku. His skills and stuff. De I'm pretty sure this is details near the sorry, uh, plus ultra move. Yeah, it's like details showing more about the skills. You got stats for like this should be level one, right? I think that's level one because there's no way that's no, 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 sorry, that's max level. That's max level. I'm being dumb. Um, yeah, that's max level. We guess level 1 would have probably like 3,500 HP or 4,000. Well, this is max level. Um, this is their max level. Of course, I'm pretty sure that this is on their UR, not them awakened like, yet. Yeah, this is max level, level 80. Now we got summarize down here, as I predicted before. Um, no. Well, uh, as I predicted, that there's stuff for memories, there's rates for memories and units. Now, as you see right here, 3% is UR unit and 3% is memory, a uh, UR, uh, memory, UR memory, which means the total rating of uh, UR is 6%, which is pretty damn good. I know many of you are not gonna like memories being the same rating as characters, but like, uh, you need characters only once, yeah? There's no dupe system in the game, as far as I'm aware of. No, there's no dupe system because all of those go into like hero medals, which we'll be talking about in a bit. And like, yeah, which you can buy shards and stuff, which we're getting into a bit. Don't worry, we're covering up everything. So yeah, uh, this is about it. Then it seems here there will be an SR higher banner soon, which is good because SRs are decent from what I've heard. Uh, basically, from Hydros, this is information from Hydros, and he said that SRs are pretty good units. Um, they're not the best, but they're a decent level. If you don't have many URs and stuff, using SRs is a good idea. So yeah, um, that's about it for the gacha system, summons rate and stuff. Uh, now we'll move down to the store. Now he'll be getting a bit into the hero metal, I guess, of stars, and checking out a bunch of stuff. So the store will have four, five, sorry, five pages, and basically here I'll we'll have more about gadget, but let's hop into the store first. Uh, uh, we are currently unaware actually what the USJ menu and the tower V tower does, or what they have in store because they're locked. But I do have an idea about the tower thing, V tower, and it's like. Well, yeah, it's kind of a tower thing, but um, something that refreshes monthly. If you've heard of Tower of Trials from Garen Cross, if you've heard of, I don't know, uh, Tower 
on Epic 7, I don't know the name of it, I can't remember the name of it, but like, it's like a tower thing that you uh, beat every level and you climb up higher, and based on how many levels you've beaten, the more rewards you get, and it refreshes monthly. So I'm thinking it's kind of the same as that, which I really like, because I really like these tower kind of gameplay things. You can just hop in there, beat a bunch of stages, and then you'll have a bunch of rewards for the end of the month. So yeah. Then I have no idea about this USJ thing, what it does. From the, like the logo I can see, I believe it might be a PvP thing. Or a co-op, or a tournament. Now I do think there will be PvP in this game, yeah I know. Wow, why is there PvP? Because it's a My Hero Academia game, it's like a fighting game. But hopefully it'll make it too broken, you know? So yeah. Also, don't worry, I want to uh, say this because I found it out recently too. Uh, you don't have to worry about the close beta players because they will not keep their data. If, not, if you haven't had a close beta, you think it's unfair because, oh hey, why did I have the more stuff and more access to the game? Uh, the stuff that are like the data in the close beta won't be carried over to the game officially dropping. We might have an open beta, we don't know how that will go. But I'm pretty sure the closed betas, like, data will not be continued on forward. So, the moment the closed beta is closed, every player will start a new when the game drops. I'll be making a separate video about when I think that the game will actually officially drop. So, yeah. Uh, let's hop into the more uh, pages. So, coins, we have here a small amount of materials you can buy daily for a certain amount of coins. Um, I'm pretty sure you can buy this one today. Only. And you can refresh the shop using coins, this part of it. Then on the memory tab, you can buy materials, a lot of them, by selling, uh, by using these memory coins. Now, how do you get memory coins? You, the only way to get memory coins is by selling memories. So, by selling hard memories, SR, you are, you know, all that kind of stuff. Maybe when you have, like, them duped fully. So, yeah. Uh, for the moment, or when the game starts, I'll be making a first another beginner guide, but um, I'd say to not sell your memories right away to buy these stuff, because duped up, and like you need to dupe them out first, after like, after you've max duped them, yes, you can sell them, but like you need 5 memories to max, uh, I don't know the term for duping, but to get all the dupes. So yeah, uh, be sure to get like uh, all the dupes first, then ma uh, max them out, and then if you get more excessive ones or others that you can't use, uh, sure, you can sell them and buy materials in the shop. As in the coin shop, you can also refresh the memory shop using memory coins. So yeah, and now the last one with hero stars, not medals. I said medals, but it's actually stars. As you can see right here, we don't really buy characters. But we're buying fragments. These shards are fragments things. Let's check out here. Yeah, we're hero stars. Clicking here allows you to exchange hero stars for character shards, pieces, though their use is still unknown. So the shards and pieces, I believe, will be used for, um, I believe, not a potential system, but for waking in units. We don't have much information about getting your units awakened. We know now that getting their art chains, getting the second art, does not come from awakening, but from maxing out the third page on the hero ability bonus stuff on the potential system. Where it is? Where is it? Uh, let me find it. It's up here. Their ability bonus pages. When you max out the third page over here, you begin on the new arts. So I'm th Pretty sure you don't need shards for that. No, I'm pretty sure you don't. So yeah, um, don't need shards for that. So that's why uh, these shards will probably be used for awakening. You know? Yeah, probably that. So yeah, this also confirms the f six URs are in the game: Deku, Bakugo, Ot uh, Otako. I knew of these three because these two are the maxed out, and Hydros kind of showcase it on the Discord server, showcase out Shaco. But didn't know about Momo, All Might, and kinda knew about Shiro Rock because of his art. So yeah. Here are the six URs that are in the game right now. Anyways, 
Uh, that's about it from the store. Now hop into like the gacha selection and the ways you can summon. And also the petty system. We're talking about that too. So the gacha selection here, you can select like the banners you want to go in to get banners, summon banners. There might be multiple summon banners other times. You might have a friend point banner. I don't know. It's just predictions. Okay. So yeah. And get selection right over here. You slide this or you tap on the banner that you want to like go to, and then you hop into it. Then get the tickets. Now from seeing this closed beta test ticket, I can assume I can assume that there will be a lot of tickets in the game. There'll be a ticket system like, uh, you know, sorry, Brave Souls. Yeah, Brave Souls has a ticket system guaranteed five star, guaranteed six stars. You know, they give through packs and stuff. I hope they don't make this like too, you could say, um, yeah, uh, too pay to play the tickets because that wouldn't be very fair, more like grindable and stuff from events. But I'm pretty sure they'll hawk some of them behind like packs. That's that's normal for a gacha game. So, yeah, then we'll hop into the pity system. Now, the pity system is something I'm very interested in. You need 30 multis to choose or get a UR of your choice, either it can be memory or a normal uh, UR unit. Uh, if you don't get that unit, like you can just buy from points. I don't know if the pity system carries through to the other banners like it does with Arknights. I know that Arknights has a pity system of 50 pulls. If you don't get a 6 star, 50 pulls no matter what banner you're summoning on. Like you might go 40, ba uh, 40 pulls on this random banner. And you haven't got anything, and you hop into like this new banner, do 10 pulls, and you're guaranteed a, yeah, a 6 star. Not guaranteed, but the rates uh, go higher and higher the more summons you do. So, yeah. But for uh, this, the game, uh, My Academia Ultra Impact, you need 300 points to choose one of them, as I said, and you collect these by summoning. So, every a single pull is one point and every multi is 10 points pretty obvious so yeah uh that was about it we got a bunch of information today more about stores uh and stuff and stuff that you can buy at the store and more about the gadget system expect more information to drop before the closed beta ends we might be getting some v jump links and stuff uh my prediction was basically that since they dropped a game on v jump and shortly after they opened the closed beta test uh we might see an open beta test very soon, like in December or so, and the game dropping early 2021. Let's hope that's the case, because this game has been in development for a while now. The art is great, and definitely deserves the love from players that other games get. So yeah, close off here, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, shout out to the Discord server for supplying us with this information, and shout out to Hydros, because he has games, uh, gameplay and he has been explaining stuff about the game too so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching like the video if you enjoy this kind of content subscribe stay tuned for more uh my academia ultra impact content but of course other games like arcanize and dragila lost and with that said be sure to hit the uh, bell notification button so don't miss out any video i'll close off here thank you guys so much for watching again see you guys next time peace